Now we come to the next slide. Uh, we just discussed it a little bit in the real world. We did six by six and eight by eight matrices. Well, unfortunately, they're not six or eight sites in the world. They're 25 billion or so. And um, also, you you really need to worry that the matrix is sparse. Previously, we didn't care about that. We actually had sparse matrices. Most of them were zero. But that's drastically true in the real world. The average number of links on any one page is 20, according to this uh, URL here. So really, we have a matrix which is 25 billion by 20. You need to use optimized sparse matrix methods. And you can do this with MapReduce. PageRank is a favorite MapReduce application. It's also a case, actually, where you want to do iterative MapReduce, because you saw that in that uh, base method, we were iterating. And in fact, we showed we needed 17 iterations for the 6 by 6 case and 87 iterations for the um, 8 by 8 case. In the real world, you're not going to try to get such an accurate answer. So who depend? It's not so clear how many iterations you really need. And this points out that actually we, in some old, in some publication, Brennan Page who invented all this, the students at Stanford who founded Google, and that's with the 0.85 value for the damping factor. They had 50 to 100 iterations um, to calculate the page rank. So it, point, it says here, I have no idea whether this is true that Google recomputes the page rank every month. Because this is a sort of batch program. Remember, we had these discussions in the recommender systems, the batch processing steps. This is a batch processing step. You don't find the page rank dynamically, you have it already stored away. You just run batch jobs every now and then to calculate it. Um, Finally, we just go uh, quickly through the case of the page rank in Python. And uh, this is the page rank 1.py. You can add your own code, uh, print out your favorite um, page rank site. This is the Google's page rank. And somehow it's no longer a number between 0 and 1, it's actually a number between 1 and 10. And it's been modified from the original. Uh, Formal definition, but still it's true that the larger the page rank, the better. And if you look at my site at infomile.org, it has a page rank of five. If you look at Wikipedia, it has a page rank of eight. And if you look at the School of Informatics and Computing, it has a page rank of six. So let's just go and do that. Here's page rank 1.py, which happens to Ask for those three websites I just mentioned. We will get that code. We will find the IPython. Let's get a new kernel. Not really necessary, but doesn't hurt. Type in this. Um, Code which goes out to the web to find things, and we see that it's a uh, it returns for each. I mean, I ask it for three websites. It returns the name of the website, which is which is um, here Wikipedia.org page rank of eight and. Um, School of Informatics Computing website, soic.indiana.edu, page rank of six, and informa.org, page rank of five. So that's uh, so my last, uh, and this is, a, and here's we have the Python code, which you can study. It involves going out to the web to find um, these page ranks. So thank you very much. That's all I have today on page rank. Have a great time. Thank you.